pimps, power, and pretty ladies. This is Blacks History Month, a 28-day celebration of black exploitation films. Usually in black exploitation films, pimps are made to look like they live glamorous and amazing lives. They got all the ladies, they have all the money, they drive the best cars, buy the best clothes. Every now and then, they even have Miss America type pageants to crown the best pimp of the year. It seems like the life, what more can you ask for? There's very few movies that attempt to portray the pimp life in a realistic or negative light. And when a movie comes along that does it, it's unexpected. Willie Dynamite is one such movie. On the surface, when you look at it, it's just like any other black exploitation pimp movie. Willie Dynamite, who's portrayed by Roscoe Orman in his very first movie, wears super bright flashy suits with equally flashy matching hats. He drives a massive purple car. He has a huge stable of women and he talks with the laid back and smooth cadence of his pimp contemporaries. This is a business, baby. A production line. And just like GM, Ford, Chrysler, Willie's coming through. However, underneath the surface, Willie Dynamite is a far deeper and serious story than it first appears. The life lessons kind of hit you out of nowhere, but the end result is a much more satisfying pimp movie than we usually get. For instance, yeah, Willie drives a fancy car, but there's a running joke in the movie where it keeps getting told for various comical reasons, and he has to keep paying to get it out. It's hard not to laugh every time Willie exits a building and his car is being told for like the third time. Or like when it seems like on a daily, one of his girls gets picked up and goes to jail. He looks so inconvenienced every time he has to go down to the courthouse and spend thousands to get them out. It's just one thing after another. Speaking of the courtroom, the movie has a really funny scene where a bunch of pimps congregate at the back of the courtroom to see if they can steal any sexy prostitutes from other pimps and keep them out of jail. It's like a silent auction that I can't believe the judge even allows. Your Honor, I plead not to pass. <laughs> just a moment. All y'all can kiss my big black. Get that woman out of here before I they try to even get one of Willie's girls, but nah, Willie takes care of his. He knows he's the man and the best pimp in town. Just look at the confidence in his pimp hop. Nah, give it up, white man. You ain't got that kind of soul. Willie, of course, isn't the only pimp in town. And I have to mention this little pimp meeting that takes place. These dudes take their jobs seriously. The head pimp, Bell, holds a meeting to discuss splitting up the areas evenly amongst everybody. The vote is almost unanimous. How's it sit with you, Cyrus? I'm with you, Bill. Top. Milky Way. Sugar. Sweet. Bela. Hey, isn't that King George? I hope he's a better pimp this time around. <sighs> yeah. But Willie, well, Willie really ain't with it. Really? And Belle tries to sell it to him in his own uh, flamboyant way. Well, I respect your ambition, Willie, but you got to have vision. Let me lay it on you, Willie. Whoa there, buddy. We should have seen way more of Belle in this movie. All of the pimps, quite honestly. Willie Dynamite is primarily about a former prostitute turned social worker named Cora, played by Diana Sands, and her attempts to save the girls that Willie pimps from a life of prostituting and give them a better reality. I love the dynamic between Cora and Willie because she knows every game that he plays to keep the women in check, seeing that she used to be one of those women. Although he's usually one step ahead of her, it's like a game of constant chess between the two. Thomas Razulala makes yet another appearance and shows up to help her out in her crusade. Diana Sands did such a great job in this movie, and it's a shame that she passed away shortly after this movie was made. Willie Dynamite aims to show that pimping truly ain't easy, and all of the constant headaches that Willie goes through begins to take its toll and makes him question if any of it is all truly worth it. It peels off all the glamour and reveals just how much work it is to maintain the business model. It's also a story about reformation and forgiveness. The movie is way better than it has any right to be, and it's a shame that at first glance, the pimp imagery overshadows just how great a story it is. I wholeheartedly recommend Willie Dynamite and consider it one of the top five best films of the era.